Sensing environment and sensing time has always been a trait of human for thousands of years. As we progressed, we wanted to understand time more deeply and accurately from years to months, from months to days and from days to even seconds. We have evolved a lot to sense time. One such instrument to gauge such sense of time is quartz clock which is very popular these days. So hey guys, this is Sean and I'm going to tell you how it works in just 2 minutes. Before going to explain about your quartz clock, we should understand about pendulum clock. We explained this topic in a separate video so you can go watch it too. Basically, pendulum clock swings back and forth using gravity and one whole swing means one second. In pendulum clock, we have pendulum to move the gears and those gears moves the clock. In quartz clock, gears are regulated by a tiny crystal of quartz. Besides, what makes quartz clock superior is it doesn't depend on the gravity which varies from mountain to sea, meaning more accurate time. Forget about quartz clock. What exactly is quartz? It's actually one of the most common mineral found in sand. Yes, beaches. The interesting thing about quartz is that it's piezoelectric. That means if you squeeze a quartz crystal, it generates a tiny electric voltage. The opposite is also true. If you apply a voltage to a piece of quartz, it vibrates at a precise frequency. Inside a quartz clock or watch, the battery sends electricity to quartz crystal through an electronic circuit. The quartz crystal oscillates at a precise number of times, exactly 32,768 times each second. The circuit counts the number of vibrations and uses them to generate regular electric pulses, one per second. These pulses can then power the clock's gear and deliver what we see as second hand and our hand. In more simpler words, quartz vibrates for specific number of time in a second and microchip register its oscillation and then that microchip orders the gear to move. Hopefully you understand the explanation so until the next amazing video, keep hitting your blind spot.